Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm Joanna. I have new videos every Monday, Thursday and Saturday. And in this video, I have one of my final looks on my Sailor Moon series. That is this one inspired by Sailor Neptune. So if you'd like to know how I did this look, then just keep on watching. So for this look, I've already done one eye and I've also done my brows using the Kiko Precision Eyebrow Pencil and I'm priming my lid with the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer and the aesthetic for Sailor Neptune is mainly that sort of teal green-blue color and also blue but Sailor Neptune does give me a lot of mermaid vibes so I'm going to mix two eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to focus on the I Heart Revolution Mermaid's Heart that looks like this. But I'm also using a little bit of the Revolution Reloaded Deep Dive palette. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of a transition with this beige color. So I'm just setting a little bit around the edges so that is a little bit easier to blend the other colors also because i'm still a little bit new to using this eyeshadow primer and then as my crease color i'm using mainly this kind of aqua blue color and i'm starting mainly on the outer corner And also trying to wing this out a little bit. I actually haven't used this palette a lot on my channel, but the mattes are very powdery. And above this color and also a little bit on the outer part. I am using just a little bit of this matte green, just very softly to blend it out. Because I want to keep this look mostly teal and blue. But I found that this green just really helps to blend out these edges. And now to intensify a little bit on the blue color, I'm taking this shade and I'm focusing the blue mostly on the outer corner, but I'll also take it on the crease. And now I'm going to do a cut crease with concealer till around this part. Now, on this outer part, I'm just using my finger to blend the concealer a little bit. And I'm going to mix a little bit of these two shades on the brush to just blend this outer part. Now, on this outer part of the cut crease, I want to do a darker color. So I'm taking from the Reloaded palette this teal shimmer and I'm pressing it on this outer part blending it a little bit out and now for the inner part I am taking this shimmer that is much lighter and I'm also blending it a little bit on top of the other shimmer And then on this outer part, 
I wanted to give it a little bit more depth. So I'm using just a little bit of this dark blue and just focusing this on the outer corner and also bringing it a little bit on the lash line. And just to blend it out a little bit, I'm taking a little bit more of this one. On my waterline, I'm using a little bit of the NYX Full Blacks pencil in the shade Onyx. And for my mascara, I'm using the Marvel X Maybelline Colossal Mascara. And as for my base, it doesn't really matter much for this look, so I'm just going to show you the products that I'm using as I go along. Okay, so Sailor Neptune, as I mentioned, does give me a lot of mermaid vibes, so I definitely want the skin to be very highlighted and glowy, so that's why I used the Revolution Pro Skin Finish, and also this highlighter is more on the pink side, as is the blush, but I don't have any green or blue highlighters. I would have used some of those if I had any, but I think the pink glow also goes nicely with this eye look. So to finish that, I think I'm just going to mix this shade and this one again. I'm mostly doing the blue closer to my lash line. And I'm just blending it with that more aqua blue. Now, on my inner corner, to kind of connect all of this, I actually think I'm going to use this highlighter. And also on my brow bone. So, on my waterline, I'm taking again the NYX Faux Blacks in Onyx, and I'm also applying the mascara. This pencil is supposed to be kind of a very deep green, it looks a little bit grey-green and I think it goes really nicely with this look and it doesn't make it too dark. And for my lips, I want something kind of neutral but not very very nude with a slightly pink color. So I'm using the Beauty Glazed Mini Lipstick in the shade Candy K.
and this is actually a little bit more nude than I thought so I'm just going to take a little bit of the NYX Butter Gloss in Tramisu on top and this just gives it a little bit more of a pink color but nothing too much and keeping it in a dewy skin I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray Okay, and that is the look finished, inspired by Sailor Neptune. And I do really like how the eyes turned out, but I'm going to be completely honest that Sailor Neptune is probably one of the least inspiring ones for me in terms of colors. But I do like how the top part is mostly teal, the bottom part does give a little bit more of that blue and also with a soft nude lip that I think goes really well with Sailor Neptune but is not one of my favorite looks from this series and also there are a lot of sailors with sort of that blue color story but if you still liked this look and if you like this series don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments down below your favorite sailor. And this makeup series is almost over, I only have Sailor Pluto left to do. And I'm also going to be doing a Black Lady version of Chibiusa. But if you still haven't watched the other looks from this series, I'll leave the playlist on the side. And if you'd like to see other videos like this one, every Monday, Thursday and Saturday. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it's free and it helps me so much. And that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching.